Darren, absolute heartbreak today. How's that one left you feeling? Um, well, you can imagine, really. It's a tough one to take. Uh, what was it, four minutes to go in the game? 90 second minute, I think it was. Um, so you can imagine how we're all feeling in the dressing room after putting so much into a game of football. And look, sometimes as a manager, all, all, all you ask of your players is to give everything. And no one can doubt that those set of players gave absolutely everything today. Um, and sometimes as a manager, that's all you can ask. Yeah, plenty of heart, plenty of fight there today. Um, and that's why it's so tough to take, because ultimately nothing to show f for it in terms of points on the board. No, and uh, a week that we felt was going to be pivotal towards the season is to go only get one point th from it is obviously very disappointing. There was three games that we felt we could win, and on, to only get one point is, is a huge disappointment. But like I say, the players have given everything today. A lot of tired legs. They had the advantage of not playing on Wednesday, which took us toll a little bit. But um, yeah, tough, tough one. And defensively, as you say, that, that, that work rate, that courage, that heart, it's, it's another game without a goal and, and no shots on target. That would, of course, at the other end of the pitch be, be the concern. It is a, a huge concern. And, and do you know what? You look at the way the game went and um, the amount of shots we had and the shots on target, nowhere near enough. We, look, we're, we're lacking in quality in terms of really getting a foothold in the game. There was so much space when the game went 10 v 10. We just all we had to do was keep switching the play, and we found it too difficult to do. We didn't move quick enough. That's my big disappointment in a game where, towards the end of it, I'm getting Wardy on the ball all the time against a winger 1v1. And you're thinking, we could go and nick this, but we're just lacking quality at times. Not heart, not desire, not effort, but just pure quality. And it's, it's tough. It's tough for the lads. You know, I said that before the game. Um, we've only got three players in that the whole squad that have played any sort of championship football. It was always going to be tough and so it's proven. And with the goal, do you think it was that, that one bit of quality in the game or, or could your players have gone out and closed the shot off, off earlier? I haven't seen it back. you probably got a better view than me. Stephen's come in and apologised, so maybe he could have done better. I, don't I think know. it bounced in front of him, but yeah, probably I haven't been seen harsh it back. I, I, he's, he's hit it quick, to be fair, the boy, and it's, and it's just it's gone away. He's seen it, it's gone across him and, and the, the way the surface was, it was quick when it hit the surface and came up. So he obviously felt he could have done better with it. What did you make of the of the two red cards? Start with the one for, for your left back, Coulson. Apparently it's two yellows and uh, two bookings. Uh, you know, the first one was in the middle of the pitch. <clears throat> Apparently it was for being too aggressive. So that's where the game is at the moment. You can't be too aggressive or you get booked. Second one, of course, if you go to ground on a yellow against a dangerous opponent, it's a red card. Their one's clear, it's horrendous tackle. I actually felt it could have been four centre-offs today. I thought two was was very lenient. What were the other incidents? The tackle you? from Davis on Ricky's horrendous. And I thought Brown could have gone as well. Is that the one where the Ricky's board over at the end? Halfway line, yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's up by his knees. So, But there, you don't want loads of red cards. We knew it would be a feisty game. We knew there'd be tackles, especially on the surface. A great playing surface in terms of the sort of game it would be. But I thought there could have been four reds. And after that first one, you, you know, the first goal would have been to get in half-time level and, and you did that well. And then obviously the game turns two minutes afterwards with it going 10 v 10. But it, it seemed that the team maybe struggled again at that point. Derby sort of had a second burst of life. Yeah, well, obviously we spoke at half-time about the formation we went to when we went to 10 men and, and they did it fine. You know, it's we had to obviously just sit in our own half and defend our own half and we had to try and break in the wider areas because it was hard for Jack Marriott with a 2v1 to, for him to get out. But we stuck to it and they didn't really create, I can't remember, too many chances when we went down to 10. And we, we spent a lot of the half discussing the tactics and then obviously, I don't know how many minutes it was after the... Two, yeah. Was it? It's, a, you know, it's down to 10v10. So at that point I'm thinking, OK, I want another striker on. Um, and it, we knew Jack wouldn't last, I didn't feel he'd last in that surface much longer than he did. So then we just changed it again and we went with real width with Ricky and Wardy and Wardy and Ricky looked a threat on the counter. But the problem was we couldn't couldn't get the ball to them. You know, and if you if you don't keep the ball it gives you a problem. Uh, Lawrence's tackle was, as you say, completely deserving of a red card. Was, was did Thompson wind him up before and has he retaliated to something or is it completely out of the blue as far as you can see it? I, I don't know what he's done, the, the boy. 
Lawrence is, is Derby's player. It's not for me. I just know it was a bad tackle and, and it was looked like a deserving red. Strange tackle because they had an advantage numerically, you know. So obviously when it went 10 to beat 10, we had different changes to make. Um, but when we went to the 4-4-1 with John Orkney's own with the real width and pace wide, we didn't get enough service there. And in terms of results elsewhere, obviously Derby going above you today, Reading winning as well, just about as, as bad an afternoon as it could have been. Um, yeah, yeah, it's it's as bad as it could have been, yeah. And how does that leave you assessing it? I mean, in a way, if you can turn it around, is, is the pressure off because no one will be expecting anything from your team now, maybe? No, I mean, look, we've just got to assess the game and, and how we are moving forward um, in terms of how we're fixed for Wednesday. But it's a sort of one to take this today. You know, when you lose a, a game, sorry, a goal in a game of that magnitude, you know, you come here and the positives you take out of it, another clean sheet. But we, the, the thing about the not scoring goals is a real problem because obviously you don't win games if you don't score goals. And it's very rare for one of my teams to have so many blanks. It is. So I think that's a problem. Yeah, and that's where the, the game's in hand mean nothing. Um, in terms of your squad today, no Sammy Schmodix in the squad. What was that to do with? Is he injured or just a selection? Just a selection because I don't think the formation we started with and we have done in the last three games really suits Sammy. You know, he's not really one that you could probably play on his own up front. Is he one that's really going to play wide? So, as I said before the game, it's about the team and not individuals. And I've had to make some tough decisions with what I would class as senior players that have not been in the squad at times. But I've got a lot of players coming back fit. Ronnie Edwards coming back, I needed an extra defender on the bench today. I already had four attackers. And really the decision, and when I spoke to Sammy yesterday, was, was purely the fact that Callum and Ricky could both play wide and through the middle. So it was really, that was a decision based on, it was a technical decision. Nothing Sammy had done wrong.